added seven more frames in the shot. Uh, I don't know where. <laughs> You're just writing. I add total seven frames in the shot. Alright, let's check it out. Let's see what you have. Whoa. Nice. This was a lot better. Nice little arc. Doesn't hit so crazily. I'm looking at the body only right now. This one's a bit funky here. So he's doing a little bit of hiccup, which is great. Um, my only comment would be, uh, let's say we track, you know, the tip. Let me just do a full-on boring track for you here. Goes, oh, it's dark from here. All right, and it suddenly stops. It's not too bad there. All right, and then it comes back down this way. So this, if you look at the fine points here, is not too bad, right? You get a bit of an arc and all that good stuff. But in real time, it's it just it feels it just feels too straight. Meaning that if you're doing that sudden stop, I will at this point have that tip around here, just a bit of a soft turn this way. And then as you go up, if you do this and you go this way, I would land here. So it's a bit more of a triangle feel. Right now it just has, let's take this away, it just has a feeling of like that. You stopped up and down and over. It's very subtle. So I would just go be like that. I would just be a bit more exaggerated in those arcs. This one is not too bad, but watch out. Again, I'm tracking this here. He goes over, or it goes over here, and it has a slight feel of It's pretty straight here. Pretty straight. So, oh, my drawing's not the best here, but if you're going from here, I mean, it's pretty much on this line. So, if you could just have a little bit of a, or whatever you want to do, but just a bit of a nice arc. It's a bit straight there. And then the problem is that here, same thing here, you stop and then you go back this way versus again, it doesn't have to be all crazy wavy, but it just has an ever so slight mechanical feel. And what you could do is you can go up into something like this, right? Again, not that exaggerated, but have a slight feel so it doesn't feel like you're going to the right and let's go kind of straight back. You can easily do something like that just a bit because in your case it's going to be okay to be that curvy and wavy because because the creature is drunk that's cool though that's all cool that's all great I think that's kind of it Pinchers are cool. It's cool residual stuff. There's some picky things where when you're here, maybe get those pinchers only to here and this guy a bit higher so that the tip is only here. Just for silhouette, so you don't have those tangents or those overlaps. I mean, you know, they're mostly let me turn this off. You know, they're mostly clear. It's just hey, just through there. Also what happens here is that your your thing goes straight up. Look at this. So same thing, a bit of an arc. So you can easily do a bit of a this here, which again will help you with the drunk feel. Um, and that's kind of it. Nope, I saw another one, sorry. Once you start looking at pinchers, this guy. This guy. What's going on here? This seems weird, hold on. He goes over. So feels like you want to keep this one on the ground and it kind of leans you know rolls on this and then lift and and drop so what's going on right now is that you're going over here and these go up in the air which is technically fine if you want for just being airborne at this moment but this just goes up and goes super slow super straight line and suddenly down so that feels 
slightly odd there. See that? So if you want to do this, then I think we'd have to go, whoa, something like that. And that's a messy line. But you want to go up, hold, and come down into a stab. So you might go up. That's the idea. Don't follow that line, but that's the idea. Or it does this, and it's not airborne, and that one is still up in the air. And that's the one that's the big airborne one. And then you can roll, like I said, roll off that pincher, and then lift it, and then stab. Whatever you want to do. But that part just felt a bit weird. Same thing here, sorry, picky picky. Bring this guy up a bit. So tip is here. You don't want a tangent right there. Like that's all cool, that's all cool. Then it's just and I know it's a picky thing because we're right there, but I think what's also happening is that it has again that pretty straight feel here. It goes straight down and actually shifts and does this. So if you're doing whoop that here, right, and you're a bit higher, so that at this point you would drop this way. You have a little bit of an arc this way because you want it to be higher to be, sorry, so this here. That tip is here. So it's just a bit changed, right? But the way that if you track the tip, it will go over here and then it can do this. So A will help you to stay in a nice silhouette for longer, but then you also have a bit more of an arc in your movements. So it doesn't have those straight IK feel here. That's cool. That's cool. Of course, again, I would say if there's anything we can do to bring this picture, this tip here, and this knee, elbow, whatever here, so we have a bit of a separation between these two here. Again, I'm getting into like massive picky land, like that's nice. It'd just be nice to not have that tangent here, but I know it's gonna flatten this area, but I think it's doable. Do you have just this amount of a gap and either this pincher goes over here, which to me feels too messy. You could have it in the middle. Then it's a color silhouette, which is not too bad. But I think you could also have it right through there. Or something like that. But I like how it drops at the end. Let's see. Yeah, that's cool. It has a little bit of a feel to it. That's great. And again, I'm being super picky. If I look at this though, at this guy specifically, I think how fast it slaps over and then comes back here, especially, is a bit much. Let's go back here. And. Yeah, because it's, it happens after the snap. I can buy this one. Because it snaps into it. But then it should just stay put. But now it weirdly snaps back. So you would have to stay, it's all very tricky, because you're compressing here, and if I'm asking you to do this, you have to snap into this back, so I'm not, to be honest, I'm not quite sure. You would have to snap out there, maybe not as far, you know, maybe you only go from here to here, not as far, or even, even less than these two, so that you can snap back, so that on, on on this frame what is this 193 or 4 probably in 3 you're already in this pose so it shoots out and back and that's your wiggle snap there so you might just argue that this move here is too late you want to get to this position sooner drop is cool though again I'm being super picky but there's a tangent if you can bring that thing lower so you're gonna hate me for this <laughs> Let's look at the right ones. It's a tricky thing because you have so many. Where, you know, you might argue you want to bring this guy higher so that the pincher is up in the air and doesn't overlap. Because with the colors here, it's hard to see that tip. But then you say, yeah, but then there's this guy's here. It's, it's, it's a bit tricky, I have to say. That's why I don't want to unravel things. Because there is movement, I understand the movement, there are nice arcs, it's all nice and loose. The rest is great, I'm looking screen right side. Screen right side is, is great, except those points that I mentioned earlier. Um, what could we do? 
things. It also has that ever so slight feel of this pincher points this way, and then wait, it's this, the same one. So picky picky. You know, if you bring, hear me out, it's going to be painful for you, but hear me out. What if the pincher is up here? I can't even draw it. You know, if it's up and it's just that pointy thing is here, and then that way we have a nice view on the other one. We understand what the other one is. And that's how you start, and then you go, and then you transition into this, where this one, maybe this one can be higher out, and then that other pincher is lower. It's a tricky thing, because what's, this is cool because we still see the relationship here. This is tricky because now we're overlapping the tongue. We don't quite know what is going on shape-wise here. So if you had this here, and this guy higher, I don't want it to go too far out because otherwise it gets too fast. What if it goes... Maybe you can stay up here and then it goes up so that at this point this is actually up here. I know this is a dramatic change but you know that might give you a nicer silhouette through there and that gives us just enough for this this side here to, to show and then it can come down into here then all you have to do is just not go as low because now we're overlapping again into one shape so if you don't go as low and this tip is actually here you will have a nicer silhouette and because it doesn't drop as low it won't be as fast it won't destroy all your movement there and then the rest is cool I think that that might be the solution if you're doing really well so I'm sure you can figure it out I mean not saying I want to just drop it on you and you just do all the work here but I think those little changes might just help you. Because also, it's the beginning of the shot, and you you want to be clear. And just that section, if I be super picky, it's not super clear. This overlaps. This overlaps. Not that overlap is bad. I'm just saying it's the shapes are becoming more. It's not just one versus like even here has a nice break. This is separate. It'd be cool to see this here maybe, but all that is clear. Then at the beginning so you know this might be actually a really nice silhouette at the beginning we see this guy a bit lower so we understand right away okay okay okay, okay. interesting and then you get into this all right we'll leave it at that um you can <laughs> shake your head and curse at me from far away let me know what you think you know just email me and we can we can talk it out um but that's it thank you all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.